Hello and welcome to another short video. This time we're looking at getting information from MOS, in particular reading the keyboard. There are two ways to read the keyboard. One is to get an individual ASCII key code and the other is to look at a whole matrix of which keys are pressed simultaneously. Again, the only tools you'll need is Nano and the Assembler. Our whole program is quite simple again. The main parts that we're going to be looking at this time, once we've set up the initial code, is this loop where we're going to check for which keys are pressed. The first command sends a command to MOS to say we want to know where the system variables are stored. And it returns this in the IX register. So we send 08 with RSTL 08 and the index is then brought back to us in IX. Now this gives us the system variables and the system variable storing the ASCII key code is number 5. So that's the one we're going to look at here. In this example, I'm going to check whether the space key is pressed, and the ASCII key code for space is 32, so we compare it with 32. And if it matches, then we're going to drop out to the exit routine. The second way of looking at the whole keyboard matrix is to send a different command to MOS, this time 1E, sent in the same way, and it sends back to IX the beginning of the matrix data. This consists of a number of bytes and each bit represents which key is currently pressed. I'll be including a table further on. So 0E contains a row of data and bit 0 of that particular byte corresponds to the escape key. So we check here if the escape key has been pressed and if so we'll exit. You can check on the wiki for all the system variables that you can check. So here we've looked at the ASCII key code number 5, just here. But there's other things you can check as well. And if you scroll down further, there's a link here to the virtual keyboard matrix with more information on that. In the first instance, here's some of the key mappings that you might look up. So the IX offset register is on the left and then the bits go across so you can check any bit of any one of those registers to find out if a particular key is currently being pressed. Here's a list of all the different ASCII codes up to number 127. You could check any of these for the ASCII key code of a key being pressed. If we go onto our Aegon and look at our code Here you can see the same code again, obviously in black and white because we're editing it in Nano on the Aegon. And here's the main loop that we're going through and checking for which keys are pressed. So now let's assemble the file. load the file and then run the file. So we displayed a quick message and now we're waiting for the escape key to exit. I can press all sorts of keys on the keyboard and nothing happens but if I press the escape key it exits and we're back to MOST again. We can always run that again and this time any key and then space and we're back to MOS again. So there we are, two different ways of checking the keyboard input. In this example the escape key or the space key.